السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We're still observing the 1997 visit to Iraq to do the second Qurbani project, and especially after I have injured my back in Mosul, and they brought me back to Al Rashid Hotel, and to try to carry on implementing this project. Uh, the decision was uh, Anwar and uh, Abdul Wahid has to go every day to sort out the meat in the in the fridge there and to throw the bad ones and to repack the good ones. Do took about a day or two to finish it. Even Anwar and Abdul Wahid has blisters in their hands because of the uh, germs and the bugs and the dust in the in the city. I was. in my room in, in Rashid Hotel lying on my back because the pain was extremely painful in my back and I was lying on the floor. And at that time, uh, the Egyptian ambassador came and visited me, Jazarallah Khair, because of this good relationship between us and the foreign office of Egypt, especially Mr. Amr Musa. Then second day, he sent the consul general to be sitting down with me and because there was not many Egyptian citizens in the city, the council general used to come to stay with me one hour or two hours with me there. And he used to see many people coming to visit me, Iraqi people, and I used to talk to them nicely in a very comfortable way without, without actually complaining about the, ba- the pain in my back. Then he asked me a question, see, how on earth you suffer all this suffering and you're still smiling and cracking jokes? I said, what is that to do with my back? My back is a, an issue Actually, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested me with, but actually to receive people, to talk to people, to crack jokes with people, to smile people, is a different story. So they couldn't be able to take it. You smile while you are, the pain is killing you at the back. This is something uh, difficult. After uh, Abdul Wahid and Anwar finished sorting out the meat, we found uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the other man who was actually with us with the deep fridge, freezer or the fridge freezer and he took Anwar to Al Basra and another one took Abdul Wahid to the different areas in Heat and Dan and Rawa and Al Ambar and 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 I was in my room at that time when doctor from uh, Islamic youth uh, uh, society and came to me and was telling me and uh, he had been told by others that actually we spend a lot of money of getting many people to come here and you could have saved this money to give it to the Iraqi uh, people. I said, you talk about Anwar and, uh, and Abdullah. I said, yes. I said, how much you think they, they cost? He said, about two, three thousand each. I said, okay, fine. I will tell you something, Doc, to, and to those people who actually uh, uh, trying to give you this uh, advice. When Anwar and Abdul Wahid go back to where they came from, they will organize fundraising events. Abdul Wahid in Holland will be able to raise at least $50,000 and will spend on him two, three thousand dollars Okay, I said, how? I said, this is it. This is how we work in this area. Anwar, when he goes back to America, he will organize few fundraising dinners and he might be able to raise Hundred fifty or two hundred thousand dollars. So this five ten thousand dollars was spent on the travel of myself, Anwar, and Abdul Wahid will become at least three to four hundred thousand dollars. Do you want me not to bring anybody next year, or what? He said no. Bring as many people as you can, and raise as much fund as you can because during that time in Iraq. Most of the humanitarian work was not done on a transparent way because of the fear of the security issue inside Iraq of the people who are taking photographs or making reports about the distribution. But I said in my previous visit in 1996, we broke this taboo and we went back in 1996 in, in, uh, in May, June, and we showed the photograph and others. So the man, the doctor was very convinced of what I've said, said, please, it was a wrong advice given to me. Thank you very much for explaining this to us. Here is the lesson. Here is the lesson and here is the manner. I could have cursed those people. I could have told the doctor, you're wrong and have bad relationship with them. No, no. 
It's happening. No transparency, corruption. No transparency, theft. No transparency, uh, a lack of anything. Anything, accountability and others. Actually, please, when you are going there, do the work with the people who are efficient and believe in the international humanitarian standards and the humanitarian principle. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.